Hello everyone, my name is Quadi and this is a very quick guide on the Granum Void, which gives you the first impressions of being very hard, but it just isn't, even with mediocre mods. First, we'll take a look at the rewards, so you at least see what you're getting into. There is three different tiers, with every tier giving you three rewards at the end. However, we will push this to the end of the video, so yeah, let's go back to the start. The Granum Void is a small arena that you can enter through the Golden Hand of Corpus Warships. There is a few requirements you need to do before you can enter them. First one is the Deadlock Protocol, a quest that introduces a new old head of Corpus. During the quest you will get a weapon called Zorus, which is the key of success in the Granum Void. After you complete the quest you will be able to enter the Golden Hand with so-called Granum Crowns, which are actually quite easy to get, but getting them will take you quite a long time. You can get the Granum Crowns by killing the treasurer that spawns in Corpus Warships around the 5 minute mark. He will try to run away and throw down traps and stuff, but for real, killing him is not that hard. When he is dead, he will drop one of three kinds of Granum Crowns depending on the planet you are on. Normal Granum Crowns are obtainable from Venus, Mars and Phobos, Example Granum Crowns are from Jupiter and Neptune, and the last, Zenith Granum Crowns are obtainable from Neptune and Pluto. The Neptune ones depend on the levels, if they are above 30 you will get Zenith Granum Crowns. These crowns have two uses, one is entering the Granum Void via the Golden Hand, and the other one is well, freeing Solaris people that are being kept on the ship, which gives you some standing for Solaris United, but I'd really save the crowns for the Golden Hand. Okay, we have the crowns now, but now let's go to the topic we began the video with, the rewards and what you need to do to get into each tier of Granum Void. The tier is determined by crowns, the normal one getting you to tier 1, the exemplar one getting you to tier 2, and zenith one to tier 3. When you enter the Granum Void, there is one simple objective, kill specters with Zorus. You will see that Granum Void will be very very hard at first, but when you get in, after countless amounts of dying and getting overwhelmed by specters, you will just do it. If you're going in for the first time, I suggest you a survivable Warframe and also a Zorus, which is mandatory. For the Zorus, here is my affordable build with mods I assume most of the people own. What you're looking for is as much attack speed and as much wind-up speed for heavy attacks just because you will be throwing the Zorus a lot. Slap these mods on, they are not that rare, and go in. When you spawn into the Granum Void, you will see a timer and the amount of specters you need to kill on the left side of the screen. If playing solo, you will have to kill from 25 to 75 depending on the tier, but playing in a squad this number will be much higher. What you need to do is throw the Zorus at the specters and when it is close to them, you need to press the middle mouse button which will make it explode. If you now throw Zorus again at the Spectre Particles, you will fill up the meter which will glow orange when full in the middle of the screen. This means you can now throw the Zorus again and it will explode massively, repeating this again and again will do the trick. If you're getting low on time, you can free the three Solaris captives that are marked on the map which buy you 20 seconds each. You can free them by throwing a fully charged Zorus at them and exploding them, which is quite easy to do actually. And the other way to get more time is by picking up the little yellow pyramids floating around. For real, this is not hard at all if you ask me, but you do need to be agile and master the art of throwing, which will definitely be quite hard at the start, so yeah. Most of the time people do three missions that are easy to do. These missions will give you the crowns you want, and you will also be able to get into the Granum Void with them, which is obviously the best thing you can do if you are farming it. These missions are Skyrush Capture on Phobos if you need normal Granum Crowns, Adrastea Sabotage on Jupiter if you need Exemplar Granum Crowns, and the last if you need Zenith Granum Crowns, Hydra Capture on Pluto. That is actually it, some of the rewards you get from the Granum Void are meh, but some are really good, like Protea for example. A freaking amazing Warframe to play with. You also get some weapon parts and stuff like that, which are actually for very good weapons, but yeah, I'm not going into such detail in this video. For real, that is it, thank you for watching, please like, comment, share, and maybe even subscribe. And also, have a nice day. Bye guys!